Hey there, how's it going gamers? Alright, look at off here with another episode of Batman Arkham Asylum, Game of the Year Edition. Now for the next couple of weeks we will be seeing more Arkham Asylum and Arkham City on my channel due to the fact that Arkham Merchants is coming out soon. Well, without further ado, let's go ahead and join the episode already in progress. Hey there, welcome back. So, we're outside the medical building and... Yeah, I fixed the lag, I've been running around a little bit all day long, and, well, it's fixed. Let me go, just go check and see if I, if it's saved. Nope, I still have to pick this up. So what was it that gave it away? The big green glowing question mark? Oh, I, I really don't like Riddler. He's really, really annoying. Let's press 2. There we go. Let me draw my Batman. Looks like he's smiling. Oh yeah. So. Whoa. Batman seems a spark. That's not good. Should get his eye checked. So the reason I walk away is because it makes it more realistic. I'm pretty sure in real life, Batman. I want all the doctors rounded up. Search every inch of the medical building. Batman wouldn't go. I need it. Search every room, every office, and every cash can. Give another doctor tries to run to get out of the building, then you won't. I'll just flood the rooms with happy gas and leave you to die. Okay, finally so. So basically in real life he would walk away from the uh, explosion. I hope in Arkham Origins they did it so that he has to walk away otherwise he's gonna take damage to make it more realistic. And Batman really hates the maintenance guy. He j instead of just unscrewing the bolts and everything he just rips the... He, the vent gate thingy off the wall, dents it, and that's it. J he doesn't like it. I don't know. Either he has some personal history with him. See? Like that. He just kicks it instead of opening it calm and nice. But yeah. Either he has something in person again the maintenance guy or somebody set him up to do this. Get off of me! Jonathan, get down there with the others! Move it! Okay, okay, I hear you. I'm going. Why does he need the doctors? I've got to save them. Okay, so <laughs> let me do some drawing over here. Don't worry, I'll come save you. Stop crying. You're a crybaby. You're gonna be one after I'm done with you. Then. Ah, stop your crying. Oh, excuse me once. Sorry about that. Okay, so let me just get rid of these guys. Three, two, Hey, get off me! No, no, no. Oops. Here we go. Three down. How many to go? Two. That was quick. Purpose. 
Clear. You're safe now. You are performing just below my predicted expectations. At this rate, you'll never beat me. Not yet. My family's blood ran through the heart of Gotham. We were doctors, politicians, and teachers. We have been the organ cleaning the arterial filth from the city. We have been its servants, giving all to protect it. And still it has chosen to hurt us. I love how all of the things are dark. How all the... Just the riddles, but I don't know. All the tapes, recordings, and so on. Their dark. I'd have solved all the puzzles by now. Good for you. You're a freaking genius. Please, over here. And again. See, now he actually takes it off without bending it that much. Denting. But normally he would be like, no. Okay, I heard you the first 2,000 times. Batman! No, don't blow up in my face. Wow. Batman! Over here! Okay, here we go again. Okay, I heard you the first 2,000 times you said over here. <laughs> it's 
excuse me. Haha, <laughs> I know where I am. Over here! Okay. Come in, come in. I'm not the flash, you know. Let me talk to her. Hey. I am here. I don't know what happened. One minute we were doing our evening rounds, and the next, armed thugs burst into the room and took us hostage. Did they have anyone with them? They took someone into the elevator. I couldn't tell who it was. They obviously didn't want to be followed. The elevator appears to have been powered down. You're going to be okay here. We'll be fine. What about the others? We heard gunfire. They could be dead. We should go and help. Oh no! I forgot! Dr. Kellerman was in the patient observation room, and Dr. Chen went to surgery. And Dr. Young went to X-ray. Okay, stay here. I'll find the other doctors. I'm here, Mike. Hold okay. still. I'll get you free. You okay? We're safe. Batman saved us. We'll so, here we go. Here's one. Two. Three. Patients, please remain calm and move slowly to their accommodation. Let me introduce you all to the sterling work of our new head of research, Dr. Penelope Young. This is your Arkansas is on the forefront of research into to understand it. That's Dr. Yeah, she can operate on. Is she okay? You want some? Quite aware that this job, as you call it, requires friends. What I want to know is why you chose me. It's the bat! No, what the hell? No! No! no. <laughs> She's under attack! Oops. She's dead! How Someone did they tell Joker! Me? Too easy! Played you like a violin and cut your strings. Nighty night, bats! Well, technically, I didn't die yet. I don't know how they saw me, though. I have done exactly as you asked. Look, you think I can? Stop the whining and listen good. If anyone goes near you without Joker's express permission, then I've been ordered to make sure you are taken out ASAP. Looks like you're a bargaining chip. Gotta tell you, the boss is all over this job. Planned like a military operation. Friends on the inside and out. I am quite aware that this job, as you call it, requires friends. What I want to know is why you chose me. Did Joker specify me? Why don't you let me talk to him? I'm sure we can settle this. Lacey, if I have to tell you once more, I am going to hurt you. You understand? Shut the hell up. If the boss wants to talk to you, he'll talk to you. Till then, keep that trap of yours zip. Here we go. Same thing as last time. What's going on? They were talking like they were in control. Is it true the Joker escaped? Unfortunately, yes. But not for long. I'd been studying Joker's case for months when he broke out. The Warden was very specific he wanted Joker cured. Bad publicity will affect his campaign for mayor. That'll be the least of it. God, I almost forgot. They said they were moving through the facility. 
hunting down the other doctors. Don't worry, Doctor. I rescued you first, and now I'll search the other rooms. You wait here. It's dangerous out there. Yeah, just wait here. There are still more medical staff that need my help. Okay, I'm coming. To the medical... Wait, is there anything of interest over here? No. To the medical staff. Oh, by the way... That right there was an easter egg for... Will all patients please remain calm and move slowly to their accommodation? Our findings have led to debates about whether psychosis is an itself and whether potentially damaging changes to the brain are related to the length of psychotic episodes. Project Titan allows us to strengthen the individual's ability to cope with such changes. Early results were promising, but it was only after the arrival of Patient X that our expectations were raised. Patient X was the catalyst that had led to a full-scale adoption of the Titan process. We must all thank our benefactors for this opportunity. We represent all medical specialties and offer a wide range of medical... Ooh, okay, so that was an easter egg for... Batman! Arkham Don't speak. City. You're safe now. But, but it's a trap! I know. Just not for me. <gasps> It's true! You really are the world's greatest detective! How did you do that, Bats? Oh, what the hell? Get down there, boys! See if he can detect being punched in the face! Ow! Too full of yourself, Bats. I'm just softening you up. Think of this as a preview to the main event. You'll see. Don't leave me. They could wake up. Relax, you're safe now. I can handle these low-life thugs. You were speaking, what were, do you mean you weren't speaking? You can speak. Oh, and... That one could have been solved by a monkey. But good job, nevertheless. Okay, so... Thomas Elliot is... Okay, so, Dr. Thomas Elliot is was Batman's best friend when he was little um, later on he be you will see him like, but he was Batman's best friend actually growing up he was his only friend he was Bruce Wayne's best friend oh Joker left me another gift Remember, a happy patient is a quiet patient Oh, I'm not sure I can keep it a secret any longer I've got two old friends coming to the party one of them is just terrified you leave. Now say hello. The other, well, let's just say he's going to be surprised to see you, and you will be to see him. Who is it? When Amadeus Arkham built this fine, who's the guy? That means son of a bitch's cash. Psychiatric evaluation and rehabilitation center. What's wrong with you? Don't you know nothing? Cash had a disagreement. He's here. But that is only half. I hit his leg. Oh wow, usually they hold their head. I was gonna be like, yeah look, I hit his head, leg and then he's holding his head. And they're all bye-bye. Cash, what 
happened. There was an alarm in there when I heard someone shouting and found the doc lying on the floor. When I went to help him, the room was flooded with gas. These doors locked down. We can't get out. Don't know how long we can last. How brave. Let's give Mr. Cash a great big hand. He could use one. <laughs> oh, this one's... You'll be laughing out of your butt when I get out of here. <laughs> you gotta help wow, he threw the you can fully the gas out of the room. The doc and me can get out of here. I'm on it. Don't worry. Oh, I'm there already. Kick it off. Yeah, see. Even poison. Firefly is an old character, I think. I actually don't know the backstory to him. I mean, I know it, but I'm not sure. Like, I know he used to work as like something, then he got fired and decided to take on a rampage, basically. Like, that's what I think happened. I'm not positive if that's true, but. Or not, but. I mean, that's. I knew, I don't know. Batman to me is what happened in the Arkham City. I mean, not Arkham City. Batman, the animated series. Wait. Okay, let me go talk to these guys. First, get my. Safe interview 39. Patient's name is Edward Nigma. At this point in time, I have yet to decide if Mr. Nigma is a suitable candidate for the Titan. I'd like to talk about your childhood. Miserable. Next. By all accounts, that is where your fascination with riddles began. I believe discussing those years could explain your compulsive behavior. Very well. My father hated me. Always called me a moron. I see. I was determined to prove him wrong, so I entered a contest at school. A $20 prize to the kid who could figure out an almost impossible logic problem. I won, of course. And that pleased your father? Hardly. He was convinced I had cheated. He kept yelling, You must have cheated! Admit it, you moron! You cheated! But I swore I didn't. And he hit me for lying. I'm sorry to hear that, Edward. Don't be. He was right. Uh, so he cheated. So he's not as smart as he thinks. I shouldn't have left intensive treatment. I would have made sure that freak stayed where he belonged. <coughs> what happened to your hand? I... Okay, the ducks died. Hey. Sounded like there were choker teeth somewhere around. Eh, whatever. Whoa, I've actually never seen this. Does it work? Wonder I've never seen it. And Batman seeing white stuff again. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. Our staff are here to help you. I've got three side seats for the big event. Ha! Die. I don't mind the knife guys, I hate the electric guy. Please remain calm and move slowly to their accommodation. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. 
Our staff are here to help you. When Amadeus Arkham built this fine institution, you would have believed it could be the premier psychiatric evaluation and rehabilitation center it has become. Everyone knows the stories of the various so-called super criminals who've been... Did you find them? Are they okay? Yes, they're safe now. Batman! We've got another problem. I need to get back to the mansion. All my research notes are there. We can't risk Joker getting his hands on them. It's not safe, Doctor. The island's a war zone. You won't stand a chance. It's my life's work. You really don't have the authority to... I'll get her there, Batman. You ask me. It's about time for a little payback. I don't like it, but... Who called the elevator? It wasn't us. It's coming from the lower floor. Cash, take Dr. Young. Get her notes and then find somewhere safe to hold up. Everyone else, go to the observation room. Barricade yourselves in. The boss says he's in here somewhere. Oh. Right out. Okay. Main hospital supposed to be clean. This place stinks. Can't wait to get out of here. This hospital scares the crap out of me. Where is everybody? One there, one there, one there. Oops. Joker, hey. watch the back. Why is everybody going down there? Come on up. I have a special surprise for you. for the past half an hour. Is that the best you got? Okay, three. Come on, where are you? Ah, oh, the hell with this! Start separating. No, don't, 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 don't follow them, don't. Oh, I got a gadget, I never even counted. So far I'm at number two, so I got a long way to go. Main hospital supposed to be clean? This place stinks. Where's the other guy? Finally, here we go. Did that scare him? Sure came from over there. Come on, wake up. Damn it, it's cold. Wait, why is he's talking about the guy's up there? Batman, can you hear me? Show yourself! Hey, Okay. 
rushing. Oh yeah, I don't want blood rushing to a set and doing any damage to its mind. No, do we? Okay, let me just check and see if there are. I think I'm supposed to be here yet. Uh, I know where this is. Station interview 44. This is yet another interview with Edward Nigma. I have yet to make up my mind whether he's a genius or just deluded. Whichever one he is, just being in his company is both irritating and exhausting. Hello, Miss Young. You look tired. Anything you need my help with? No, thank you, Edward. I am here to help you. We all are. <laughs> Forgive my arrogance, Doctor, but if you think I need your help, well, you're in the right place. Let's look at it a different way. Throughout your career, you have specialized in bizarre traps and convoluted clues that more often than not result in the death of the unfortunate participants. And if the citizens of Gotham were smarter, my games would be merely an amusing diversion. Instead of death traps. You really should be thanking me. Weeding out the ignorant, the stupid, the useless. But don't worry. I'm sure you would survive. What a lovely photo on your desk, Doctor. Your family. Mother, perhaps. Put that down. Get out! Go on! Wow. Yeah, that's all I can see. Wow. Oh. Easy, isn't it? Well, we'll see. This unit we'll was found by Bruce see. Wayne. Bruce Wayne Foundation. Okay. I'll take that. I'm a hero. Is there anything of interest around here? Nope. Check this place out again. Nothing. I just gotta remember to come and visit that room. Oh yeah, for right here I have those vents. Too easy! Oh, think about it. I got you trapped in a little metal box, hanging precariously over a deadly drop. What say I just blow the emergency brake center off you like a sack of puppies? Say goodnight, that's Boom! <laughs> Only kidding. Got a few more surprises in store for you. Prepare to face your fears. All of them! <laughs> <laughs> you know what that is? I think that's Scarecrow's fear gas. There is no crane! See you next time.